And then I finally got up the gusto to do it. Uh-huh. And I fucking failed it. <gasps> oh. <laughs> it was the worst camp of my life. Like, I, it makes me so sad. Was the camp counselor nice at least? Yeah, I guess. Like, um, I, I'm so sorry. No, it was a woman. It was a woman. I'm so sorry, but you are a really horrible swimmer. Yeah. And it, I'm just, I just can't let you out there with it everybody's was like really having a good traumatizing, time. traumatizing, honestly. Like, it really. I bet it, it, I think it affected you to this day because yeah. you don't like to swim. I swim. I've never seen Megan swim. I've been married <laughs> to her for bullshit. 11 years. everybody and welcome to another edition of the Meglo Show. Thank you for joining us. I am Carlos Alberto Navarro. I am Megan Elizabeth Navarro. And we are Meglos. Once again, thank you for joining us. Tonight's, today's Meglos is coming at you at the nighttime. We it are is. filming this, recording yes. this at night. At night. And uh, this is, I think, the first time we've ever recorded at night, which is kind of ironic well, because yeah. we used to do a, a Facebook Live. It actually started on Periscope. Yeah, that's right. For you youngins out there who don't even know what Periscope is, it was the first real streaming platform. And uh, we It was to, always at night. It was always at night. And now, then when we started doing this show, we filmed it during the day. We yeah. recorded it during the day. And we are actually doing a little pre-filming mm -hmm. because this stud is going to be out of town yes all well while you're watching this he will be out of town or just coming back right right I'll from shooting a big old you know what yes. are you what are you shooting? a new tv show called the outsider for those of you who don't know i am an actor as well and uh yeah i get i uh you know, I book these shows and book these movies and video games and different things. And I get to do my radio show and and then things just pop up, man. And we're so committed to our Meglos family. Yes, we are. That we are filming this, shooting this, recording this at 9.50 on a Thursday night. But because... Yeah, but you know what? We're here and we are excited because a lot of things are going on in the world. A lot of things are happening in, in the Meglos world. Um. Yeah, we are. We, we are, just don't want to be a week without you guys. No, no way. So I, I really hope that you uh, enjoy this because we have a very busy week. We are parents to an eight-year-old, and tomorrow we are. We haven't seen our daughter in about a week, and mm -hmm. she's been at a summer camp, which I always wanted to go to a summer camp as a kid, and never did. Yeah, I went once. You did? How I went long? to an. Uh, it was like I don't think it was a whole week. But it, I think it was at least like three nights. Three nights? It was called Camp Winona. Camp Winona was Win Winona Ryder? Did she uh, <laughs> did she run the camp? No, it, but it was an overnight camp. Like you wow. stay in like legit cabin and all of that. Like I, I did, not, I did not like it. I bet you hate You were like, did you cry? No, I didn't cry. How old I, I was probably like 12 or 13. Oh, so you were older. Yeah, I was older. I, well, maybe. You'd see boys that you liked? Yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> You're but always with the boys I when know, you're younger. Uh, yeah, yeah. I was into boys by third grade. Oh you know? my god! All right, Sorry. And our and that's what our daughter's to going into third grade. So you know, man, she can talk to me about it. Yeah, I guess so. You get so mad when I try and talk to her about boys, but I'm just like, I'd rather her want to like talk to me about it than well, I just try don't, and hide it. I know, but but she, I just know at third grade, like I legit had a boyfriend. I wore his jacket. Oh in my third grade. what? What jacket do you have as third had, grade? Other like, than like a jacket your mom gives you because you're no, cold outside. No, he had like yeah, it was like a, like a denim jacket that he and always you, wore, and then like he let me wear it. That's ridiculous. No, it's not. What if it happens? You're making with this up. I swear head. to God, his name is Derek Lumen. You can contact I'm him. I'm going to look him up on Facebook look, and be like, Look him up. I got her. Look him up. Sorry. <laughs> he doesn't care. Bet you Derek's a loser now. Oh, that's I don't know. So sorry, mean. Derek. If you're watching this, I'm sorry. Oh, my God. I wasn't but trying to be mean. Isn't that crazy, though? I remember his first and last name. Like, Lennon could have a friendship <sighs> relationship like that. How long did you guys date? Oh, I mean, come on. <laughs> like, <laughs> Did he cheat like, on you? <laughs> no did you I, yeah no like i didn't kiss him or well like a peck you know like yeah. in third grade it's like a little like a peck on the cheek or like a little 
I don't even... No, really? Yeah. At third grade, you're kissing? No, like a peck on the cheek. And like sometimes you would hold hands. Yeah. You know, it wasn't I, like a make out. Fourth grade is when I remember like... And her name was Danielle Hartzog. And I think she still follows me on social media. First off, I know Daniel Hartog. No, Hartzog. Oh, okay. Yeah, I think it's Hartzog with the Z. Mm. Um, and I, oh, I just loved her, and I was just like, oh. But I think it was even kindergarten when I first started liking girls. Like, then this. why are you busting on me? Because girls about third shouldn't grade. date that early. But guys are allowed to in kindergarten. Here we go, Carlos. <laughs> I mean, sexist, Carlos. <laughs> Not allowing girls to date whenever they feel like it. Women are empowered. They should, they can date as early as they want. Becky, don't tell me how to raise my Becky, daughter. Becky, I agree. That's ridiculous. What a double standard. You're allowed yeah. to date in kindergarten. Yeah, yeah. You're I, you're dating in kindergarten. That's why you're just just you're disgusting, Carlos. But a little I didn't girl date. Can't have actually a didn't date. Boyfriend in third grade. That's re- that's no. Crazy. I didn't date. I didn't date. I just had a crush on her, and she liked somebody else. I I I, I remember. Being on this choo-choo train, little choo-choo train, and we sat in, I think her name was Holly, blonde hair, go oh figure. Oh, my God. And I remember, like, she scraped her knee, or I scraped my knee, and that was the topic of conversation. You don't even know. I know. You, I like, don't. literally have no clue. You're like, she scraped her knee, or I, I scraped, scraped my knee. Who knows? Could you're be just, one or the other. You're just making something up in your I'm, head now. I'm, I could be. There's a lot. Of, then, then another... What, what you got stuff you in my like face? You like a fuzz on your eyebrow. And then another girl, Elizabeth Williamson, in the end of my neighborhood. Man, I loved her so my much. My God, you know, I didn't once say that I loved Derek Lumen. You just told me that you loved It's not two love, love. Girls. It's not my first love. You know what I'm saying. Like, I really, really liked them. And I uh-huh. wrote the Valentines. And I remember uh-huh. she was like, my my dad won't my dad won't let me have a boyfriend, which is basically saying she didn't like me. Yeah. Uh-huh. But later on, we became friends. Like, actually, no, we didn't. I think she went oh to a different high school. Oh, my God. You're my memory is like, very hazy. You're, very you're hazy. just totally making random things up. Yeah. And then, uh, but yeah, I, I've always, always liked girls. Let us know in the comments below, when was your first, quote unquote, boyfriend or girlfriend that you can remember? I'd be curious to know. Like, so is, yours was literally third grade? Third grade is like the first one, you know, again. There was no making out. It was like, I remember him as a boyfriend. I remember I had a crush on him. I remember I wore his jacket. I remember we held hands. I remember I got a peck on my, like, at least my cheek. Yeah. That's what I specifically remember. Well, I, uh, yeah, I, I remember uh, those good old days of writing the Valentine's cards. and But as far as the camp, right? Oh, like, yeah, the camp. I never went to camp. The only thing that I saw was Camp Anawana, Salute My Shorts on Nickelodeon. Such a good camp, it though. Was, and I was like... Why can't I go to this camp of, of misadventures and hijinks? Why can't I run underwear up the flagpole? Yeah, my camp well, wasn't like that. I wanted to go to that camp because I always dreamed of being the prankster, the you, one who was like with the been. camp counselor was like, Carlos! <laughs> you know? You and totally would have been. I would have been. And I didn't Can develop- I tell you something really embarrassing that happened at my camp? What? Oh, I've never told this to anyone before. <laughs> Uh-oh, what is it? Okay, so like- there was at this camp, it was like there was a lake there, mm-hmm, right? Mm-hmm. Like most camps. Right, right. And there's a floating dock out like way out there, way out there okay. right? And you know me like, well, a lot of you probably know, like I've been a little insecure in my life. Oh, yeah. And especially when I was younger. And we're talking like maybe I was 10, between 10 and 12 when I went to this camp. And I knew how to swim. But you're but, not. You're, you're like, still not even like, a strong swimmer. <laughs> you're still pretty weak. I can so I can only swim. imagine third grade Megan like, <laughs> help, help! I need my leather jacket. But I also, Luke. I also just didn't like doing so unless it was dance. I didn't like doing any kind of performance or swimming or anything like that in front of people and having you to were be just, judged. Oh wow! Right? Yeah, I was always insecure. Insecure so, Megan. To be able to go out to this floating dock, mm-hmm. you had to pass a swim test. Ooh. Yeah, and the swim test was like super long, and you had to do multiple different kinds of like strokes, like butterfly, breast, freestyle. Yeah, and show that you can go from one length to another. Did you do it? I was so scared oh, to do God. this test. Like, I got, I started crying. I didn't want to. In front to. of everybody? No, I went off to the side. A counselor had to come up to me. I was like, I just didn't want to have to like do this performance of swimming in wow. front of people. Why are you so insecure? 
And then I finally got up the gusto to do it. Uh huh. And I fucking failed it. <gasps> oh. <laughs> it was the worst camp of my life. Like, I, it makes me so sad. Was the camp counselor nice at least? Yeah, I guess. Like, um, I, I'm so sorry. No, it was a woman. It was a woman. I'm so sorry, but you are a really horrible swimmer. Yeah. And it, I'm, I just can't let you out there with and it everybody's like really having a good time. It was really traumatizing, honestly. Like, it really. I bet it, it, I think it affected you to this day because yeah. you don't like to swim. I swim. I've never seen Megan swim. I've been married <laughs> to her for bullshit. 11 years. I swim, but I'm not going to like. But I think that affected me feeling comfortable comfortable and confident in like doing other things that weren't necessarily in my comfort so zone this camp sounds people. horrible this camp does but not seem like it empowered you it. My, our daughter is, is every day we talk to her and she's like we did this yeah, and we met this person and we and we and she, she she's even, thriving she's thriving there she <laughs> even had she a therapist go <laughs> oh, talk to her oh my god and we didn't know that there was therapy gonna be there okay, but this is like a church camp yeah yeah so they're all about like you know being, you know, there's some, there's some, a lot of God, a lot of Jesus, which is good. You know, we're, we're not super religious people. But it's like a Chick-fil-A people. church camp. That's yeah. the thing. <laughs> and I'm looking forward to it tomorrow. It's wind shape. Yeah, tomorrow um, they give Chick-fil-A meals at the end. And <laughs> yeah. sometimes they give extra chicken sandwiches. <laughs> and I'm, I'm like, is that sad that I'm looking forward? Like, that's what I, I mean, obviously I'm looking forward to seeing my daughter. Yeah. I would but I'm so. also like, oh yeah, at the end we get the Chick-fil-A and the nuggets and the fries and stuff. It was just the sandwich. I time. know, which they should have had nuggets. So, should have had nuggets. They should have had sure. nuggets because not every kid likes the sandwich. But um, I think Lennon will end up going to this camp a lot. Our daughter's name this is This is her second year at this camp and she really likes it a lot. And I yeah. think this year she likes it even more than last year. And we were so surprised when we talked to her on the phone yesterday and she told us that she talked. She So Lennon watches Hallmark movies with me and one of the mystery ones that we watch her real job is she's a therapist. Oh, and so she is that Candace asked, Cameron one? No. Oh. And she asked me what a therapist was. So I told her it's someone that you go and you talk to about your feelings right. and things going on in your life. And, you know, they're just there to help you through it. Yeah. And uh, then when she came to us yesterday or talked to us on the phone yesterday and she was like, I talked to someone. She was like a therapist, but she wasn't officially a therapist. Right. And when she came to us with what? She talked. She about, talked she, about. She like went deep. She talked about Nala, our bulldog that died last year. Yeah, and we were that, like, oh my god. She said she cried, and yeah, she, she said, said she was crying. She talked about some like family issues, not us personally, but something that I've been dealing with, and it was really good. And 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 but we were shocked. Yeah, was we were not expecting. We were just expecting to hear like you painted something, you had a water <laughs> yeah. fight, you we ate like, some food. Whoa, this went deep today. It at went camp. very deep. So camps, they they help. They really do help. And, and you uh, never got a camp experience. One time. And this is the only thing I remember. Okay. okay. It was, was this an overnight camp? No. Hell no. It was down the street from our house. <laughs> oh, it was the middle school. It was at the, you're right. It was just, well, I, I mean, think, Lennon's summer school. Well, I an overnight camp. Um, it was at South Seminole Middle School. Mm-hmm. I was still in elementary school. Mm-hmm. And it was like, I got to go to South Seminole. And it was like, whoa, this is the big middle school. And all I can remember. <laughs> How old are you? I think I'm in fourth or fifth grade, but this is where maybe my memories are overlapping or maybe I just create. No, no, this is real. This is real. I scraped my knee. Okay. (laughs) And one of the camp counselors came over and I had a crush on the camp counselor. Oh my God. She was, I don't know how old she must've been. She might've been in high school, but I remember her looking at my knee and not me being like, Whoa, like she is so pretty. And that's all I remember from this camp. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. And the rest of my camps were my grandmother, who had a tattooed name on me, just w- yelling at us if we wanted food, playing in the pool, running around the neighborhood, playing video games, living like a wild beast of a child. Um, that was pretty much all my summers. <laughs> that was it. That was it. That was literally staying up until two, three in the morning, rearranging my room. Oh, my God. Stapling pictures of, uh, of Sports Illustrated that I find. If Lennon stapled pictures on her wall, stapled, I would kick her. Butt. Every wall, oh, my every God. wall was like, God, I wish I had a picture of this. I cut mm. out. I used to love. I, I mean, I still love sports, but I cut out pictures of all these like, and and there wasn't an inch in the wall that wasn't covered up with staples. Boom, boom, tacky boom. as hell. You've been tacky it, as hell. I've from been tacky jump. from jump. <laughs> 
and I loved it. I loved looking. I was like, and everybody would come and be like, whoa. And that's yeah. how you felt like about your Simpsons room when yeah. I first moved into yeah. the house with you and you yeah. had a whole room dedicated to Simpsons. Don't you, bring it up. It really makes me sad to think of all my Simpsons toys being gone. literally had them all up on the wall. All these toys. It yeah. looked ridiculous. No, it was awesome. Just because you didn't like it and you made me get rid of it. I still yeah. am mad at you to this day about it. It became my workout room. <laughs> Yeah, it should have stayed The Simpsons. No, room. no. Yeah, it should have. Because no. like all those toys, I gave them to somebody. In order That's for... not my fault. Well, where would we even have them right now? Well, hey. We could have sold them. But I wouldn't want to. I mean, I had every play set. But here's the thing. I did collect. I've always collected. And even in my back in the day, I collected hats. Just random hats I would collect. And I had them all over the room. Even though you didn't wear them. Even though I didn't wear them. That's I, this weird. was le- Yeah, exactly. Leading up to it. Oh, leading up to when you found out that someone said that you don't yeah. look good in hats? Yeah, well, a couple of my friends said it and it stuck with me. And I wanted to be the red hat kid. I wanted to wear a red hat every day to school because there was some random movie of a guy that wore a hat every day. And I was like, I always wanted to be the cool jokester prankster. It, well, you achieved it, I, I guess. Sh- I think the I cool feel- part, I don't know. But yeah, I don't know if I'm cool. <laughs> jokester. I mean, you're not a prankster. I'm not a prankster, but I, I like to have be be unique and, and, and be funny. You like and, to joke. You like out. to make people laugh. I make people laugh. That's always uh, my, my... I like to make people feel good. People feel good. Because that can mean a couple different things. No. You make people laugh and you don't necessarily make them feel That's good. True. <laughs> like That's true. That's true. Because I can... Break. Yeah. Because you joke when you're doing comedy, you, you, could, you know, it, it can tend to be mean. Yeah. It yeah. It can tend so. to be mean. But uh, so I'm, I, I think it's great that our daughter's at camp. I, you had a camp experience. Yeah, um, not a I didn't. One. I didn't. I did watch, like I said, all of Salute My Shorts. I did too. I watched Salute Your Shorts. Like crazy and hey dude, hey yeah. dude, is that hey dude? dude? And I always thought that man, those kids that. are just out on that ranch. Oh my god, I wanted to be at that. Oh, Melody oh. from there, so hot. I think my love for blondes has always my been there. God. Always been there. Always, always been there. And then I got the most premium blonde. You. Oh please. Jeez. Yeah, you're the hottest. Yeah. Uh-huh. Look, you got wave hair. <laughs> I got wavy hair. You got hair. beautiful eyes. Look, we where you get to do our shows here. We do a couple shows together. You did a, a Dollar Tree shop with me. I did yesterday. a Dollar Tree shop with me with my wife yesterday. That was it's fun. already up on my channel if you're listening to this now. It's already up. Yeah. You just popped it up there. No, but by the time oh, right, they're sure, listening yeah, to this, yeah. it definitely will have already been up there. Um, it was a lot of fun. And there's a lot of great treats at the Dollar Tree. Dude, I, you scored. You were happy with your buying. I was buys. very happy. I got a chocolate eclair, which I also ate a lot a in middle book. school. A book that I'm going to recommend. Two books. Two books. Mm-hmm. Um, I love to read, but I need to re- be reading a little bit more. You got uh, some apple crisp. You got those crisps. apple crisps. They could be a little apple They could have oh, been a little apple ear. Um, and all for like $21. 30 bucks. 30 bucks. 30 bucks. We got tortillas. Tortillas. And Their tortillas were good. We made some some tortillas. Uh, some fajitas. Uh, some fajitas last night. Oh, man. And I cooked the hell out of some chicken, you didn't did I? You did some, cook some good chicken. And those yeah. tortillas just like were like the perfect mix it together. Did. It they worked out well. Super so- I'm sure not good for you. I mean, I know uh, yeah. not good no, for you. No, the, the label of the tortillas was called El Barrio, which means the hood. In Spanish. So, so you know, well, um, but, I mean, but they were good. Hey, what are you going to do with the Dollar Tree? Yeah. Well, you and know, we're not you know talking. What? They, they fed us. They fed us and, and they were good. We're appreciative for Absolutely. them. Absolutely. And totally. we're appreciative for everybody watching right and listening right now. It's, yeah. uh, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's a lot of fun to do. But I can understand why, um, why a lot of people try to do this and, and, and they are not able to, you know? Yeah. You know, uh, it's a lot of uh, shooting and 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 t- scheduling and scheduling timing. Scheduling and editing, I think, is yeah. a lot of. What so if anybody ever says, to, you know, oh, they're YouTube, they're just putting up videos. That's bullshit. Oh my god, it's a lot of work. It's a lot of work. I think more people are understanding that now, though. I think so. You know, not just and look. I don't drink anymore, so I just have old duels. Look yeah. at this, and there's nothing more less than zero point five percent alcohol. Hey, at least you got the 0.5%. It's our last night kid-free. Yes. We're having a cocktail and a no duels. That's how we do it here. But we are so glad we got to get this in before yes. he goes out of town. He yes. actually might be leaving earlier than we expected. Yes. So we wanted to go ahead and 
do the show so that we could have this up for you guys. And um, and don't forget to check us out on Facebook, too, because we are posting a lot more on Facebook. We got a little community on there. Totally. And we do lives on there as well. If you like the show, we're doing lives on there, too. We're going to be doing lives here in the you can future. watch a bunch of old lives on Megalos And it gets Facebook. loose. <laughs> it gets loose and crazy. Um, yeah. And, uh, yeah. And this is just the beginning, folks. Just the beginning. I could only imagine where things are going to go with Meglos new merch coming very soon new yeah. merch yeah 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 with the coming soon was is, is a very great loose, <laughs> loose, loose, loose kind of period <laughs> but uh either way I want to thank all y'all for watching mm -hmm. and listening and joining us and messaging us uh you can find me at, at to the top Carlos on Instagram and me at Megan Navarro on Instagram, or I am Megan Navarro on YouTube. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with us. We hope you have an amazing rest of your day, your week, your life. Yes. We love you all. We love all y'all. And uh, I know one thing, today will be a great day. To the top. Never stop. Bye. We only need